all engineers, not just biological and agricultural engineers, need to consider the environment when designing products and processes. Engineers need to factor air and water pollution, waste disposal, and water management into designs. Let's start off with the idea of pollution. Engineers need to factor in air pollution when designing products, as air quality becomes more of an issue in urban areas. Let's get more in depth here. Pollution of air, water, and soil requires millions of years to recoup. Industry and motor vehicles exhaust are the number one pollutants. Heavy metals, nitrates, and plastic are toxins responsible for pollution, while water pollution is caused by oil spills, acid rain, urban runoff. Air pollution is caused by various gases and toxins released by industries and factories or, and combustion of fossil fuels. Soil pollution is majorly caused by industrial waste that deprives soil from essential nutrients. Here's an example. Pollution can be created from the product such as cars and other engines or from the manufacturing processes. Inefficient manufacturing uses more. So our solution to that is engineers need to design products and engines that produce less air pollution, such as CO2. Engines should also design and consider manufacturing processes that are more efficient. Next, let's move on to waste disposal. Engineers need to factor in the life of the product and the ways that it might be recycled when designing products. Waste management is a problem because the consumption of resources and creation of plastics are creating a global crisis of waste disposal. Developed countries are notorious for producing an excessive amount of waste or garbage and dumping their waste into oceans and less developed countries. Plastic, fast food packaging, and cheap electronic waste threaten the well-being of humans. Waste disposal is an urgent current environmental problem. For example, many companies design technology that is difficult to repair, so when it breaks, the entire product must be replaced or recycled. This results in many products being recycled or thrown away. According to ifixit.org, about 60% of these products end up in landfills where heavy metals such as lead, mercury, and cadmium leach into soil and water. Engineers can help solve this problem by factoring repairability and recyclability into product designs. Modular designs would help solve this problem as they are easily interchangeable so that when one part breaks, the broken part can be replaced rather than the entire product. This would eliminate these products from landfills and prevent heavy metals leaching into soil and water. Next, let's move on to water management. Water management. Engineers need to factor in the way that the environment will interact with buildings and other infrastructures within urban areas. A very complicated process with multiple steps completed by multiple organizations working together. This includes organizations responsible for long-term planning and management of catchment and natural resource management areas water delivery and river operations, and monitoring and reporting on the outcomes of environmental water management. An example is water runoff from buildings and streets. Many damage the environment by leaching nutrients from soil and erosion. One solution that agricultural and biological engineers have developed is a berm. A berm is a small hill covered with grass or plants that will channel any runoff around what you don't want to get hit by the water. You'll need to plan out where the runoff will go and then figure out what to plant. Grass is an easy default, but also a variety of other plants might be easier to maintain and can help the berm blend better within landscapes. If you're looking for a quick fix to protect plants and structures, the berm is probably your best bet. In conclusion, paying attention to your surrounding and planning ahead on projects and products designed by all engineers, not just biological and agricultural engineers. Everything we do affects our environment negatively or positively. The better we protect the environment, whether it be water management, pollution, or waste disposal, it helps the society and ecosystems for all walks of life in the end.